For ACUsports.com, I'm Grant Boone as we talk a little Wildcat golf here with the coach Mike Campbell. Coach getting ready for the Charles Cooty Invitational, which is, well, it's a, it's a great way to kick off the season, but it also uh, is a great way to uh, tip the cap a little bit to a guy, a Masters champion in Charles Cooty, who's been re very friendly to the ACU golf team through the years, right? Yes, definitely. Charles has been great to us. You know, he has a great golf course out at uh, Diamondback Golf Club. Uh, he's a great supporter of the team really really good to the kids and uh proud to have his name on the tournament yeah and all of these guys growing up they see the name charles cootie they hear masters champion that means something doesn't it to them oh definitely you know he's he's got a, a locker with a green jacket at augusta that's a uh, pretty special the, only a very select few so definitely uh brings a lot of clout to to him and and the, the guys really look up to that well, here we are. We've made it. We're still standing. We're in the post-Alex Carpenter era. He's one of the greats to ever play, not just at ACU, but in all of NCAA golf. Uh, we still haven't found anyone who's ever won more than his 20 individual uh, career titles. Uh, Alex has moved on, doing very well on the professional level. Uh, but let's talk about your team this year. You still have a Carpenter, Luke, uh, and you bring in four uh, freshmen this year really kind of from all over the place right definitely you know i've got a good group of, of young guys that come in uh actually one of our our freshmen brandon stites which transferred here from pepperdine is playing great right now he actually qualified as our number one player for the mm -hmm. first tournament so uh, and then i have another good group uh kyle carney from from waco i actually qualified for the top five also and then uh, i'm just excited about the whole group of guys i think they're going to be a, a special special group. I said four freshmen, but really Brandon is going to play as a freshman, isn't he? He is. He's actually a redshirt freshman. He was on the team last year, but did not compete. So he has four years to play for us. So I'm excited about that. Uh, you do have a couple of seniors this year on your team and uh, you bring back uh, a guy who had a great season last year, Corbin Renner. Tell me what you expect from him. Uh, Corbin had a great year last year. He was actually voted uh, to the all region team. And I know he's going to be a leader of our team, and he's going to have a fine year along with – we also have Luke Carpenter and, uh, and Trey Sullivan, which has been a big part of our team for the last uh, three years. He had back surgery back in March, but he's working his way back, and uh, I, he's feeling good, and uh, I'm excited about what he can do. And we also have Ian Evans back from last year's team that played at regionals. In collegiate golf, spring is the championship season, and of course uh, the ACU teams know they can't compete for the next four years, but golf is a little different in that you get some experience, you get some playing time in the fall. So tell us a little bit about your fall schedule after Monday's and Tuesday's uh, event, the Charles Cootie Invitational. Yes, yeah, so we had some good events lined up. Uh, two weeks after the, the Charles Cootie event, we go to Houston Baptist Tournament at Wood Forest in Houston. And then the following week, we go to uh, Raven's Nest in Huntsville, mm -hmm. Sam Houston State's tournament. And then we go back to see a familiar foe in, at Cameron University. We're playing at the Territory Classic in Oklahoma. Uh, just as we close things up here, uh, this is, this is a, an emotional year, really, for all of us at ACU in general, but certainly for the golf team. It's the first golf season without our beloved coach, your coach at ACU, Vince Jarrett. Uh, just maybe a thought, how much uh, have, have you thought about him as this season is getting underway? Uh, quite a bit. You know, he was a, a big part of me coming to ACU as a player back in, uh, in the early 90s. And then with Coach being back the last few years and being a part of our golf program, I just leaned on him for a lot of advice and uh, a lot of support, and uh, he's definitely going to be missed. Some big things planned to honor Coach Jarrett as this year moves on. For now, we cheer the Wildcats on at the Charles Cootey Invitational on Monday and Tuesday right here at Diamondback Golf Club in Abilene. For Coach Mike Campbell, I'm Grant Boone for ACUsports.com.